Hello. Hello. God, I have so much work to do. <laughs> uh, I hope everybody's doing well. Hi, hi, hi. Hello. Big Mori. Yes, because small one looks kind of ridiculous in the scene. Yes, it has been a while. Maybe one day I'll figure out how to do the uh, the small Mori in the study room. One day. Not a priority right now. Not priority right now. Mommy Mori? Nah, nah. Mother Mori is not present. Mother Mori does not exist. Mother Mori only exists in uh, Mickey's headspace. Yup, yup. How much work do I have to do? I don't know, we'll see. It depends on how quickly I can work. <laughs> I'm hoping to end stream within two hours. We shall see. We shall see. Uh, it's a time. I hope everyone's having a good, good eve. I'll probably be working the whole night. Oh no! Oh no, did you get a lot of work all of a sudden out of nowhere? Good luck indeed. Good luck indeed. Oh, computer on your side. Hopefully your, your, your situation gets cleared up, Serial. Hopefully, hopefully.
how was your day? My day was good. I had a lot of stuff to do. It was really productive. But I somehow ended up with a lot more work. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, it is work that I could technically do tomorrow. But there's probably going to be something that pops up tomorrow that I'm going to have to deal with. And I would rather not have that extra stress, you know? You know? How was your day? Good role model. I wish I was. I wish I was. Yes. Try my best. Yes. Nice, you touched some grass. Congratulations. <laughs> You prefer this model more than the cheapy one? That's fair. Unpopular opinions are also welcome here. That's fine. I just don't really have a opportunity to use this one very much. I don't know. I just, maybe I just find cheapies cuter.
How was middle slash high school for you? Hmm. I think I breezed. Like academic wise, I think I breezed. I didn't really do too much. I honestly don't think I did too much learning, which is, you know, unfortunate. Um, I liked my school. I was that weird child. I mean, I don't think there were a lot of people that uh, outwardly hated going to school. Um, but I was one of those children who liked going to school because I liked seeing my friends. I liked hanging out with them every day. Um, I low-key miss school. I miss like high school and previous to that. I don't miss university because I think um, I went to a university that was like really far away. So I was essentially, I was like five hours away from home and my friends were all like sort of in my hometown. Yeah, like post-secondary university, college. Um, they all went to a post-secondary institution that was closer to home. And I was kind of just stranded out there five hours away from home. Um, it wasn't like too bad, but it really brought to light the feeling of I cram all of this knowledge for finals and stuff. And uh, within like the, the 12 hours after the exam, I don't use any of it. Especially in like, so like I, I graduated uh, post-secondary with a business degree. I don't know why I had to think about that. Um, but yeah, I had to cram a lot of knowledge that I didn't think was very useful. And then a lot of business is like theory at that level. There's not a lot that you can sort of transfer to any sort of job. So I just ended up feeling like I'm learning all of this and I don't think it's, I don't feel like it's applicable to real life. And it just, it seems kind of useless. But it's also people don't really look at your, your resume if you don't, if you don't have a degree. Which is very unfortunate, I think. Uni was so much better for me, chilling at the coffee machine discussing with the teachers about random things. Hmm, true, true. If you have good teachers, you have good profs, that's always nice. I think I had maybe two or three good profs my whole time. I had classes that I absolutely despised. And then there were just a lot of classes that were like, oh, this is okay. Yeah. Post-secondary was a time. It was definitely not my favorite time, but it was a time. Is Mike picking that up? Oh my god. I don't know what, what my mother is uh, hammering outside, but something's hammering. Hmm. Yeah, I missed high school. High school was where I kind of enjoyed my time most, I think. A lot of new people, made a lot of new friends. I think also by the time I hit post-secondary school, um, say hello to Mommy Mori for me. If she comes in my room, I will, I will let her know. Otherwise, I will let her know off stream. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think in high school, I was more sociable yeah i lost a lot of that going or like going through high school and into universe uh, and into post-secondary it wasn't so much of an issue in high school because i had established friends so it wasn't like it didn't really matter i had friends but like making friends in post-secondary was a uh, eh, it was a little bit more challenging i also just didn't really like the people there <laughs> The city that I uh, I had post-secondary or like I, I was studying in for post-secondary was, um, it wasn't bad, but like the people who grew up there, which were majority, they gave off a really um, entitled feel. 
maybe not entitled, but like self centered in like the, the most ba basic meaning of the word. Like they just, they think about themselves a lot. Yeah. And that's where I also lost faith in uh, a lot of group mates. I have a feeling I know which one. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Not a lot of uh, post-secondary schools are five hours away from where we live right now. Um, My sister went to the same one. Oh, interesting. The t the city that I'm talking about had two universities. I don't know if that means anything. Hi, Profax. I'm trying to be productive. I'm working on my uh, multitasking skills. It's uh, it's a time. It's a time. <laughs> yeah i don't know i know a lot of people there enjoyed their time i know a lot of people like thinking about post-secondary as oh yeah that's the prime of your life i guess i just never really fell into that i made a lot of um acquaintances entertaining chat while working doing my best Hi, Manin. Hello. Hated the school days? Mmm. Oh, yeah, that's true. I don't think the business program, well, I mean, it had a name, so. Yeah, I wasn't a fan. I was not a fan. Um, the business program that I was in they made it mandatory for um, students to take a presentation class. And I think that one was universally hated by everybody that had to go through. Actually, maybe not universally hated. There were definitely some kids who liked presenting and people who were um, very comfortable in the spotlight. I was not one of those kids was absolutely not one of those kids. Um, yeah, I remember, I think that, that term might've been my most miserable. <laughs> I love university. Mm -hmm. Some people have different experiences for school life. High school was my happy place. But it's all good. I mean, I got a taste of freedom during the post-secondary years. Got to live on my own for a while. That was nice. All the more reason to savor what you have there.
that don't like kids. Mm. I think it's tough to be a professor. Like, on paper, it seems pretty easy, but I think to keep a class engaged in, in what you're teaching can be kind of difficult. And then if you're just preaching, then it kind of takes the fun out of sort of... I feel like it takes the fun and the satisfaction of teaching. But what do I know? I'm not a professor. I'm not good at teaching people. <laughs> Uh, for some reason in Italy, no one likes history. Oh, yeah. History class was... Hmm. I never took history in in post-secondary. I did take it in... Um, in high school, though. It was not too bad. choose the class we can only choose the second foreign language oh interesting that's intriguing i think in my whole in my high school you were given a choice of whether you wanted to so i think um french was mandatory up until grade 10 so like at grade 10 you could choose to to drop it or or keep going with it um and then if you wanted to take another language course i think the others were japanese latin japanese latin and spanish yeah i think those were the options in France nobody seems to like French lessons ah uh, only French and Spanish in my school nice that's still not too bad I think they introduced uh I'm not sure I'm not sure but I think I heard rumors that they introduced German as well after I left though French and Spanish for me too. Yeah, I dropped French basically the moment I could. I like, I have nothing against the language. I think it's great, but it was definitely one of those like, I could tell if I kept going with it, I would fail it. I would not be able to keep up. I think it's, yeah, it's tough. Spanish and German. Linguistic one has Chinese, Russian, uh, and they want to introduce Japanese. That's a lot of languages. Damn. That is a lot of languages. Probably easy to learn if you're Italian. Yeah, so um my the so I, I ended up dropping French and then I took up Spanish in grade 10. Um and the teacher that I had, she was kind of nuts. She was just really good with languages. She could fluently speak, I think it was like 
English, French, Spanish, um, and then Chinese. And then she also, during the time that she taught us, because Spanish and Italian were kind of similar base language wise, she also taught herself Italian and also sign language. She was wild. So much respect for that lady. You go, lady, you go. I speak UK and the six slang. I. No. No. <laughs> I found French easier than English. Mmm. Yeah, it's the, the West. What is it? Not Western language. Is it the, the Romance languages? Yeah. Same sort of like base, right? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, the, the Romance languages.
Mori would do it blindfolded? Nah. My grades fell a bunch when I hit post-secondary. Like everybody talks about how most grades typically slide down like 15%, 20%. That was fairly accurate, I think. was the Roman history exam, but that's next month. Ooh. Here's also different. Ooh, how did they do grading in Italy? I'm so intrigued. Oh Jesus, that Roman history sounds uh, kind of brutal. I remember I did a Greek history once. Um, I took one course in Greek history, Greek like civilization history, um, for like summer school, self like online, online learning sort of thing for credits. Oh, that was that was such a drag. It was it was so difficult like teaching myself. Forcing myself to read the books. I think I learned best in uh, in class with the professor there talking at me. <laughs> Grades 1 to 30, 18 is a passing grade. Ah, interesting. That's so intriguing. Yeah, I've, I've only ever known like the grading scale of like A, B, C, D, E, F, and then percentages. That's all I've ever known. Very basic. <laughs> At the end, you have less than 80 at an, or 80 or 90. Your graduation is a useless piece of paper. Ah, so would they give you, like, would you be able to redo it or like try and get a better score? 
Or were you just stuck with a really bad, like, certificate? I always hated letter grades and GPA. Yeah, percentage grades are just easier to see, easier to sort of process in my mind. Don't think I ever really had an issue with how they graded. It's just, I thought percentages are just easier to keep track of. You made an average. If you have a bad average, it's your fault and you can do it again. Ah, okay. Good luck on work. Thank you, Mo. Appreciate it. Someone's swearing in my lo-fi. <laughs> huh? Nani? <laughs> eh? What is this about mommy and chat? No. Mother is not here. Mother does not exist. mod check I don't think there are mods around unfortunately no mother none mother mother is not present oops oh my goodness <laughs> eh Where the headpads redeem? I haven't quite had the time to figure out. Cause I want to do it where like if you guys redeem, then it'll just automatically show up on the screen. 
I'll figure that out eventually, but it's uh, it's not there yet. I have no way to show that I'm getting head pads right now. I've done like the early searches of like how do I do this I just haven't yet read through it all <laughs> your very first subscriber I'm disappointed I apologize I'll get on it I will get on it Also still waiting for the karaoke stream. You got it. You were here for part of it. Sick. The yesterday one, the two days ago one. Yes, that one. days ago yeah two, was two days ago right yeah today's Tuesday yeah it was two days ago it does feel like yesterday to me too though I feel that an encore maybe later I'm not committing to any any dates so far and uh, I don't know if Mickey is here but I I looked up the song that Mariah Carey song and I will I will not be singing that song because the fuck why is it so lewd why is she why did she make why did she want me to sing such a lewd song is she okay it's not happening. I know I said I would, but no, that's not happening. It's lewd. I also don't know it. I'd have to learn it and just no. <laughs> she can sing it if she wants. <laughs> uh, imaginary bonk. Yeah, she's not here. I don't think. Lewd Mori? Nah, Mickey's the one being lewd.
I'll do a commission for Lucamore. I'm sorry, what commission? What kind of commission? I don't know that I'm comfortable with that. <laughs> I actually have no idea what you're thinking about. <laughs> None idea whatsoever. Art? Are you saying lewd like art? Yes, uh, let's not. Let's stay away from lewdness. I mean, you, you guys feel free to, to be as lewd as you want in chat, but I, I'd like to stay away from lewdness as much as possible. Very good, yes. Consent is key. Consent is key. Very good. Unlock two more emote slots. Thank you for the hydration check. Uh, no, those are actually the originals. It's just those are the two emotes that Twitch put in jail as they uh, they were reviewing emotes, I think. Yep, so those are a part of the original five. Twitch was just holding them hostage for a little while. Because they wanted to review stuff, I suppose. Forget the stretch, yes, sir. Uh. 
Oh, that's trippy. That music went back and forth between my ears. Ugh. Is this the TikTok music? I don't know. I'm getting this from YouTube. And the video did say that it was DMCA free, so if I get a if I get parts of this VOD muted, it'll be upsetty spaghetti. Music should be fine. Yeah, I'm hoping so. I am hoping so. Didn't you separate the music from your VOD audio? Yeah, but also like, not not for this one. Um, and like specifically just because I feel like a VOD with just typing sounds is a little bit awkward. <laughs> uh, if I was like gaming or something, I wouldn't mind. Sad Boys Hour playlist. What's this one called? Mm, this one is called City of Gamers. Got some nice pixel art.
gamer.
tell us a joke? My life. <laughs> I don't know. Don't really got a lot of jokes. Don't steal my joke. <laughs> All right, so that was a joke, okay. <laughs> My God. <laughs> I think that's a valid response. I mean, I guess not. It would add to a support system, I suppose, but I don't know. It's still empty, so a future girlfriend can't use it. Oh. It's okay. It's not about the money. Katsu, how's it going? Ah, you need to find a girlfriend with a big wallet. I see, I see, I see. That's five head. That's smart. to feed my expensive hobbies and addictions. <laughs> Merch from idols and VTubers, yeah! Yeah. That's always fun. Merch is fun. <laughs> Sirio is out here judging hard. That's fine. Whatever makes you happy. 
Hey, as long as they have the funds to do it and it's not like impacting their livelihood. It makes them a little bit happier. There's nothing too bad about that. As long as it doesn't spiral out of control. Oops. Merge is an important thing in everyone's life. As long as you don't rely on it too much. You can live a healthy life without merch. And that's good. It's good. So slow today. Hello. Okay. <laughs> it's too late, he's already done sure it's fine. I've known a lot of people who crawled out of their obsessions. Me being one of them. It's possible. I saw a real girl was 33 years old or 33 years ago. I don't know about the math on that one, Profex. <laughs> I don't know about the age math on that. bigger than two see did you mean 2.16 or 216 math uh, this hard watch make you trying to calculate you'll understand uh, i agree and disagree time zones are hard time zones are tough Some of them. I don't know. I'm trying to defend Mickey here. I'm trying to... I'm trying to defend Mickey here. Ah, uh, you're trying to say something. You, you correct immediately. Okay. Gotcha, Profex. <laughs> That's true. Do the math easy. Listen, some pe sometimes people just struggle with simple arithmetic. I do that too a lot when it comes to percentage or not percentages, decimals. I have trouble sometimes. I rely too much on the the electronic calculators. I hit a couple of keys and I can pull up a calculator, so I don't have to worry about basic math. I think my basic math has deteriorated very much. So 
okay to use your fingers. I use my fingers. <laughs> uh, same, I use my fingers. You know what I use my fingers most for? Differentiating between left and right. <laughs> you know, like the trick where you like you put your your palms out in front of you, and then like the side that's that like you see an L as that's uh, left. No, God, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to be unsay so. Uh, yeah, I struggle with my directions so much. Lefts and rights. Uh, it's a little embarrassing. Say so. I'm. I think for the most part, I'm. I, I'm. I'm keeping say so. Aside from the swearing, I mean, swearing is a little bit. Yikes! I should stop swearing as much. That's fine. Gamers can't not swear. <laughs> true, true. My girlfriend right now is following me like a duckling when we're out. Mmm, that sounds kind of cute. Psycho smile and party hard too. Listen, I toggled an expression key and it kept my face on the, kept the the model face on the smile. It's not on me. I never really had to toggle the expressions before. I've forgotten which buttons there were.
Ooh, linguistics. That sounds fun. My friend also studied linguistics in post-secondary. Welcome to the uni life. True. It's okay. I feel like the lost period doesn't really take up all that much of like time. I'm sure you'll get the hang of it quickly enough.
We need another joke. I don't have any jokes. My 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 one brain cell is being dedicated towards work right now, guys. <laughs> An ASMR stream. Dude, I don't have an ASMR mic. I don't have that many fun. <laughs> Actually, that's not it, but I just like, I don't own an ASMR mic. <laughs> Talk sexy stream. Uh, I don't think I would be very good at that. <laughs> An ASMR mic with their subs funny. I mean, I don't think I would use it a lot. Just yell into the mic. <laughs> oh man. I feel like that would blow out a lot of people's eardrums. I feel really bad about that. I don't offer ear tingles, I offer ear pain. Straight up just pain. bits ASMR mic fund but there's so many ASMR out artists out there there's so many better ASMR artists out there I honestly wouldn't know what to do with an ASMR mic <laughs> zero idea better i'm really not <laughs> all these other people have like techniques and they know about like what triggers there are i don't really watch asmr very often i have no idea what would be good triggers i'm a fast learner I feel like the people who do ASMR best are the people who like understand it for themselves.
Ooh, Japanese isn't available. That's so unfortunate. Mori, give me an ara ara. An A R A A R A. <gasps> I don't know how to do a good one though. Ara ara? Is that okay? <laughs> God more. <gasps> I can do better than that. Mmm. <laughs> I 
I don't know how to do a good ara ara. Deep. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Do I have something on my Go XLR to do that? Hold on. Hold on. Ara ara. <laughs> ara ara. I don't know. You get the regular tone, ara aras. <laughs> the dot dot dots. Yay! What's this? Vocal range is not equipped for any of these expressions. I don't have the cute anime girl voice. It's unfortunate. Give you a cookie. That's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. It's time to stretch and hydrate. You're right. You're right. Hydrate, don't dehydrate. Man, my voice is it. <clears throat> Hydrate, posture check. Oh my god. What the heck? <laughs> Thank you for the reminders. Blessed. I need to spend my points. I apologize. There's not a lot in there right now. Yes. While I stretch, I can go ooh woo. I probably make old man noises more than anything when I stretch. Oh my god. Why are there so many hydration checks? Ah! Can you say, I'm proud of you, son? I'm proud of you, son? Wait. Does that just mean I admit that I'm mother? I don't want to admit that I'm mother. Eh? Fuck my back. Just like a bunch of cracks and it's just like, oh, guys, I, I can't get up anymore. I've stretched and I can't return to the regular position. say okay.
so sleepy. I didn't get good sleep. I think when I'm done work or when I'm done this bit, I might like try and sleep. It's like 820. Wild. I don't know. I think the last two nights put together, I may have gotten like six hours of sleep. <laughs> uh, I wasn't even like on the computer. I wasn't on my PC or anything. I was just lying there, eyes open, unable to fall asleep. Sleep for dinner. No, I had an early dinner. I'm all good.
How far am I in my work? Uh, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel, which is always a good thing. Uh, I want to estimate like another 15, 20 minutes. Hopefully, if the system cooperates and is not very slow. We hope. Speed run it. Uh, if only I could. I have like these keyboard shortcuts, but they don't really help me when the system can't really keep up. Any plans after work? I think I might try and sleep. Yeah. I might try. I might see if I can knock out. I'm scared of like staying awake for all that long because eventually I'm going to get over that like hill of being really tired and I'm just going to be awake all night. It's going to happen like it happened last night. I was like super sleepy at a certain point in the night and then I was like, eh, it's fine. It's fine. I'll just get good sleep later on. And then I never got good sleep. Uh. I don't have the proper sleep schedule. That's the thing, like, I, I do wake up every day at the same time. But I just, I don't know, I guess I haven't hit that exhaustion point where I can just fall asleep immediately. I think I need more time away from the computer. I think that's what's it. <laughs> or at least I need to get off the computer for a little while before I actually go and sleep. Once plan to jog every morning before the vacation. The problem is I stay awake till morning. Oh no. I don't think I could exercise in the morning. Like I think my ideal would be I wake up early enough that I can exercise in the morning. But honestly, it takes my like myself really long time to wake up. Like, I will be two hours into being awake and then I'll be like, ah, yes, I'm feeling functional now. <laughs> What's morning? Oh, man, she was, I, I don't even know how you keep up your, your sleep schedule. I don't know how you do it. of you to assume she has any sleep schedule. Fair. Fair. I've kind of just assumed that it's been like nocturnal. Triz has gone nocturnal.
<laughs> I'm indeed nocturnal. Oh no. Oh, as long as you don't have anything you need to like wake up for in the mornings. Shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> heavy copium. Heavy, heavy copium. Found out when my uni starts. Need to fix my sleep schedule soon. <laughs> when does your uni start? I know you said September, but I, I'm assuming you just found out a date. Or you tell Mole you're not proud of him. I mean, if he fixes his sleep schedule, then very proud. Yes, very proud. Seventh of September. Uh, I mean, you do have time. It's not like dire situations just yet. Close to, but <laughs> there's still time to save it. I believe in you. about it already yeah starting post-secondary is kind of i think that's super stressful are you at least like close to home going to uni close to home
two hours travel every time. No, that's so bad. By like car, are you driving there or are you taking public transportation? Because if you're taking public transportation, I guess you do have a little bit of leeway on the bus, the train. Uh, you could try and sleep, but then you run the risk of missing the stop. <laughs> to go to the station and then bus directly at my uni. Mmm. Okay. Okay. get motion sick easily oh man that doesn't sound very good I would ask if there's like medication you could take to lessen the uh, the motion sickness but I don't think that's really sustainable for like kind of multiple times a week travel Yeah, the pressure points. Every time three hours of walk, bus, and train every day to go to my. Oh my goodness. That sounds terrible. did it for exams okay okay that's that's a little better i suppose ah online classes okay yeah i remember the one time i took an online class i had to take the bus across the city to to take the exam but it wasn't like that much of a trek it was it was definitely not like two or three hours During the winter, I went to uni to do classes. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. <laughs> That's painful. I had a lot of problems with my sleep schedule for three months. Uh, that's rough. When would you end up doing like assignments and stuff then? Would it be like on the train? That's so rough. Or I guess like whenever you have downtime, if you do have classes, you'd probably be at the university for the whole day just to save time. <laughs> oh, 
my brain papega my bad same mole i feel you i too have the memory of a goldfish for a room at the dorm so i feel like a oh uh, yeah that's true an hour and 30 minutes mm. that's so far profax that's so far Fox lives at the forest. <gasps> oh man. Some of school stuffs now. Need to wait till the 22nd of August so I can finally finish my inscription. After that, I'll have my student cards. Time to get. <laughs> uh, I, I type not not that fast. Not that fast. I think it just sounds faster with the the keyboard that I have, the noisy keyboard.
used to type really fast too, but now I have to use that. Oh, I've never heard of that type of keyboard. Ooh, time to search it up. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Oh, interesting. I've never seen that before. Oh. Like the German with quartz. Oh, interesting. Is that the standard in France? The uh, like the the new type of keyboard, or is it like for a specific function? I don't know why though. <laughs> It's every keyboard in France? Damn! Yeah, that's a lot to get used to, especially because, like, from the pictures that I'm seeing on Google, they look like the same sort of, like, keyboard shape and, like, key shape. Oh, that must be so confusing to type on. I would have so much trouble. It comes from an old typewriter? Oh. Interesting. Ah, I guess I never really thought of it. This is like, um, I've only ever grown up seeing the QWERTY keyboards around me. We call that like North American privilege. <laughs> oh man, okay. Emails answered. Work is, eh, I've done enough. I've done a good amount. Jeez. All right. Keyword was made to separate the most used letters by putting the less used ones between them. Oh. I guess that makes sense. Borak homies. <laughs> eh? You guys are giving me so many things to search up. Oh my goodness. It's gonna warp my brain. Most games don't use. Oh yeah, have to rebind the keys then. Oh, that must be so annoying. Yeah, it's definitely not common. And I also didn't learn how to type properly. Like I don't, I don't put my my fingers where you're supposed to. I just like my my fingers are like they just fly all over the place. When typing, which is why I make a lot of mistakes. Whew. All righty, I think I might call it here for the stream. Maybe I will grab something to eat. Mm, and then I'll head to bed. Turn back to QWERTY, but my keyboard displays. Oh no! That's so inconvenient. Oh man, I've never actually thought of like keyboard layouts being different because like I think even in I've seen Chinese keyboards like uh, Hong Kong keyboards and they like they I guess they use the North American type. Mmm, it has the accents and stuff. True, true, true. All right. I'm going to head off. Thank you guys for chatting and hanging out and keeping me uh, productive. I appreciate it. I hope everybody here, if if you're working, I hope you've been productive. If you're just here chilling. I hope you enjoyed the lo-fi. Yes, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.